Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in to the Bianca remote desktop environment from outside SUNET, um, that is using a VPN. So to log into the Bianca remote desktop environment, usually you go to this URL. So I'm going to show you, I can't log in there yet. I'm outside of SUNET, so nothing happens here. I'm completely unaccepted. So I can't log in there. So you need to use a VPN or be within SUNET, but my computer's outside SUNET, so that's not an option. I'm not gonna move it in. Um, I'm gonna use a VPN. And to use a VPN within Uppsala University, I just Google for VPN Uppsala. And then one of the first hits from the university is to use a VPN service. And then um, uh, we need to install and run the Cisco VPN software. So we click on that. And then you can go to this website. You have to activate this thing. So it works on the, uh, I've tried it on the Linux. It works also under Windows or Mac. Uh, I have Linux, so I'm gonna show you the Linux version. So apparently I need to go to vpn.uu.se. So there's the service. I fill in my username and password. And uh, now I need to download and install it. Um, like I can click this, sure, it will now download it. Um, but I already installed it. So you need to go, you need to run the script with pseudo writes and then you can run it. And then you can call the program called AnyConnect. And I'm just gonna start it. So you need to write vpn.uu.se, then connect, and then you need to give your password again. I'll do that now. And then it is connected. So if you have, a, so I use Ubuntu. So here at the top right, you can see I'm now logged in um, via the VPN. So I'm now into SUNET more or less. So the, the my browser first goes to SUNET and then does its stuff. So I can still browse as if I would be part of the Uppsala University, as if I would be in SUNET. So now I can go to this location uh, if it works and it works. And here you'll see, hey, it worked. Because I can, um, like you see things happening. So it will be Richel project name. I don't know this by heart. It's, it sends something. Um, I'm not gonna do the, the last step. Like you have to fill in your password and the upmax second factor code, like the two factor authentication code, those is always six letters. And then you log into the remote desktop. I'm not gonna do that. Um, this is how you do it. Uh, I wish you a very good day. Bye.